Hi, first of all greetings. To find information like this, subscribe and share our channel and continue to support. First of all what is SMT? SMT is expanded by surface mount technology, which is a packaging technology in electronics that mounts electronic components on the surface of a printed circuit board or printed wiring board, instead of inserting them throughout holes of the board. Surface mount technology is an area of electronic assembly used to mount electronic components to the surface of the printed circuit board as opposed to inserting components through holes as with conventional assembly. Surface mount technology is an alternative to older throughout hole printed circuit board design and manufacturing practices. Then what is SMD? A surface mount device or SMD is an electronic device for which the components are mounted or placed directly on the surface of the PCB. There is a wide range of SMD component packages available on the market and come in many shapes and sizes. There are different styles of package for different types of component. Broadly the package styles can be fitted into three categories. Passive components, transistors and diodes, and integrated circuits. First we have to see passive SMD components. The majority of passive SMDs are either SMT resistors or SMT capacitors, for which the package sizes are reasonably well standardized. Other components including coils, crystals, and others tend to have more individual requirements and hence their own packages. Resistors and capacitors have a variety of package sizes. These have designations that include 18, 12, 12, 6, 8, 5, 6, 3, 4, 2, and 2, 1, which is the dimensions in hundreds of an inch. In other words, the 12, 6 measures 12 cross 6 hundredths of an inch. Transistors and diodes are second type of SMD component. SMT transistors and SMT diodes are often contained in a small plastic package. The connections are made via leads which emanate from the package and are bent so that they touch the board. Three leads are always used for these packages. In this way it is easy to identify which way round the device must go. Finally integrated circuits, there is a variety of Packages which are used for integrated circuits. The package used depends upon the level of interconnectivity required. Many chips like the simple logic chips may only require 14 or 16 pins. Whereas other like the VLSI processors and associated chips can require up to 200 or more. In view of the wide variation of requirements there is a number of different packages available. Then we are see what the process involved in SMT or soldering paste printing, solder paste inspection, component pick and place, preflow AOI, reflow oven soldering, post reflow oven soldering, through hole assemble, pre final process, final stage and rework stages, router stages, brushing, final test, visual checking, retail packaging are the non technical process. Soldering paste printing stage is the first process of SMT, where components are to be placed. The printed circuit board normally has flat, usually tin lead, silver, or gold, plated copper pad without holes called solder pads. The solder paste printer, which is designed to apply solder paste using a stencil and squeegees to the appropriate pads on the PCB. This is the most widely used method for applying solder paste, but jet printing is becoming more popular, especially in the subcontract sector as there is no need for stencils and modifications are easier to make. Solder paste is used in manufacture of PCB to connect SMD components to pads on the board. Solder paste, a sticky mixture of flux and tiny solder particles, 
Solder paste is first applied to all the solder pads with a stainless steel or nickel stencil using a screen printing process. Once PCB has been screen printing finished, it moves into next stage of the manufacturing process which is solder paste inspection. The solder paste printing process is one of the most important parts of the surface mount assembly process. In order to ensure the desired amount of solder paste has been deposited without defects and that the process is repeatable it is important to have a thorough and reliable inspection method. As components become smaller and more complex the control of the solder paste printing becomes more challenging and so it is recommended to fully inspect every printed PCB before starting the component placement process. Many solder paste printing machines contain 2D solder inspection which has been used for a long time, but has a limited inspection capability of area coverage and shorts. This system has no way of checking the expected solder paste volume or shape of solder deposits. 3D solder paste inspection has the ability to not only check for solder paste area coverage and shorts but can also accurately measure the shape and volume of the solder paste deposits. In 3D SPI excessive error, insufficient error, position error, bridging error, shape deformity. Once the printed PCB has been confirmed to have the correct amount of solder paste applied, it moves into the next part of the manufacturing process which is component placement stage. The components to be placed on the boards are usually delivered to the production line in either paper or plastic tapes wound on reels or plastic tubes. Some large integrated circuits are delivered in static free trays. Each component is picked from its package and using either a vacuum or gripper nozzle checked by the vision system and placed in the programmed location at high speed. Each type of placement machine has its own format for programs but they all contain the same information including part numbers, circuit board reference, rotation, package information and X and Y position. Key aspects of the component placement processor type of data available. PCB design likes panel size, handling strips, fiducial marks, component size and their position. Nozzle type like chip nozzle, MELF nozzle, QFP nozzle, gripper nozzle, vision system. After finished pick and place stage PCB moves into pre-reflow AOI stage. AOI is automated optical inspection and automated visual inspection of PCB manufacture, where a camera autonomously scan the device under test for both catastrophic failure like missing component and quality defects. Following the component placement process, it is important to verify that no mistakes have been made and that all parts have been correctly placed before reflow soldering. The best way of doing this is by using an AOI machine to make checks such as component presence, type or value and polarity. FAI that means first article inspection is a very important step in the process as any errors, if undetected, can lead to high volumes of rework. After pre-reflow AOI stage, board moves into reflow oven soldering stage. Reflow soldering is the most widely used method of attaching surface mount components to printed circuit boards. They first enter a preheat zone, where the temperature of the board and all the components is gradually, uniformly raised to prevent thermal shock. The boards then enter a zone where the temperature is high enough to melt the solder particles in the solder paste. Bonding the component leads to the pads on the circuit board. The surface tension of the molten solder helps keep the components in place, and if the solder pad geometries are correctly designed, surface tension automatically aligns the components on their pads. 
Key aspects that lead to an effective reflow soldering process are follows. Suitable machine. Acceptable reflow profile, PCB and SMB component footprint design, good quality PCB components and solder paste. Then post reflow AOI stage. The last part of the surface mount assembly process is to again check that no mistakes have been made by using an AOI machine to check solder joint quality. With the introduction of 3D technology this process has become more reliable as with 2D inspection. There tended to be high levels of false calls due to interpreting a 2D image. 3D inspection has allowed more accurate measurements to be taken and provide a more stable inspection process. Although selective soldering is part of the through-hole assembly process, there are many aspects that affect the surface mount assembly and PCB design such as component position. The key parameters of an effective selective soldering process are follows. PCB size. Solder pots and types. PCB handling and machine configuration. If the circuit board is double-sided then this printing. Placement reflow process may be repeated using either solder paste or glue to hold the components in place. If a wave soldering process is used, then the parts must be glued to the board prior to processing to prevent them from floating off when a solder paste holding them in place is melted. Then we have seen pre-final process involved in SMT. Boards are then washed to remove excess flux or solder residues, which could cause shorting of components due to their extremely close placement tolerance. After soldering, the boards may be washed to remove flux residues and any stray solder balls that could short out closely spaced component leads. Rosin flux is removed with fluorocarbon solvents, high flash point hydrocarbon solvents, or low flash solvents. Water soluble fluxes are removed with deionized water and detergent, followed by an air blast to quickly remove residual water. Once the products are finished, cleaned, and dried, they are ready for final inspection of quality. Inspections look for missing components, alignment issues, or soldering issues that could generate potential problems. There is equipment available to automate these inspections. Inspected boards then proceed to any required testing of circuits and functionality. Finally, the boards are visually inspected for missing or misaligned components and solder bridging. If needed, they are sent to a rework station where a human operator repairs any errors. They are then usually sent to the testing stations that means in circuit testing and functional testing to verify that they operate correctly. In rework stage, defective surface mount components can be repaired by using soldering irons or using a non-contact rework system. Reworking usually corrects some type of error, either human or machine generated, and includes the following steps are melt solder and remove components. Remove residual solder, directly or by dispensing print solder paste on PCB, place new component and reflow. Next we have seen, what are the advantages of SMT? SMT was developed to reduce manufacturing costs and also to make more efficient use of PCB space. As a result of the introduction of surface mount technology, it is now possible to build highly complex electronic circuits into smaller and smaller assemblies with good repeatability due to the higher level of automation. It has largely taken over when sized weight and automation are considerations because it can fabricate PCBs more efficiently without losing any reliability or quality. SMT uses surface mount devices to replace larger, heavier, and more cumbersome counterparts in the older throughout whole PCB construction. Then, what are the benefits of SMT? 
increased automation, maximum flexibility in building PCB, improved reliability and performance, reduced manual intervention for component placement, smaller and lighter boards, ease of assembly, using both sides of the board without the hole limitations that exist in through hole construction. Ability to coexist with throughout whole components, even on the same board. Increased density that is more SMD components in the same space. So, to find information like this, subscribe and share our channel and continue to support. And thank you for watching this video.